Hi, I'm Louise Gunnell, a PhD candidate at Stanford University. My research interests are in representation learning for natural language processing and healthcare, and building data efficient machine learning methods that are robust to distribution drifts. This talk will be on data efficient information extraction from form like documents that is joint work with Navneet, Sandeep, James, Mark, and Jing from Google AI. And the work was done during my research internship with them at Google AI. Automating information extraction from form-like documents at scale is a pressing need due to its potential impact on automating business workflows across many industries, like financial services, insurance, and healthcare. Information extraction is usually done either manually or using inflexible heuristics, hence it's brittle and error-prone. The key challenge is that form-like documents in these business workflows can be laid out in virtually infinitely many ways. Hence, a good solution to this problem should generalize the documents with unseen layouts and languages. Many products are being built by industry to tackle this problem, and Google's Cloud Document AI is one such example. The work I'll describe is a research project at Google Research that was eventually used in the Document AI product. So solution to this problem requires a holistic understanding of both the textual segments and the visual cues within a document, which is non-trivial. While the NLP and CV communities are starting to tackle this problem, there has not been much focus on data efficiency and ability to generalize across different documents, types, and languages. Specifically, Bert Grid extended Katia Tal's previous work that previously proposed inputting documents as 2D grids of text tokens to fully convolutional encoder-decoder networks by incorporating pre-trained BERT text embeddings into the 2D grid representation. There's another line of work that proposes extending language model pre-training approaches to include the document layout information, including layout LM. And finally, Clean information extraction system that is described in this paper uh, decouples the task into candidate generation followed by a simple ML-based scoring and assigning. Although previously uh, proposed approaches shown in the previous slide are very promising, training or pre-training time of their pipelines are not only compute and data intensive, but also need to be redone from scratch for competitive extraction performance whenever you're working with a new considerably structurally different document type or a different language. We'd like to point out that in order to fully automate this task, we need to tackle hundreds of document types. And the main cost is data acquisition and labeling for every new language or document type. So this means if we can get to the same extraction performance with 10x less data, we're effectively cutting the cost of developing new extraction models by 10x. So this paper's focus is on data efficiency and ability to generalize across different document types and languages. So we build on the Glean Extraction Pipeline, which decouples the task into three stages. Given a document image and a target schema, uh, OCR is performed on a document image. Uh, candidates are generated using candidate generators that leverage the existing domain knowledge of working with structured documents. The candidates uh, generated candidates are scored using a representation learning based ML model, and the best candidates to the target fields are assigned as the final extraction result. Glean's design decision of leveraging these candidate generators uh, built using existing library of entity detectors used in Google's uh, knowledge graph that are available through a cloud API significantly narrows down the search problem for its ML-based score model. This way, Glean's ML-based score model can fully focus on learning a representation for an extraction candidate that captures its spatial neighborhood on the page, as well as learning the semantics of the target field. In order to qualify why the representation learning inspired modeling choices naturally enable multi-domain training and fine tuning across different document types and different languages, let me explain Glean's score model at a high level. Briefly, the features of each extraction candidate supplied to the model are its neighboring words and their relative positions. Candidate's value is excluded from the set of features in order to avoid biasing the model towards the distribution of values seen during training, which may not be representative at the inference time. 
Then model learns a dense representation for each extraction candidate using a simple self-attention based architecture. Separately, in the same embedding space, it learns dense representations for each field in the target schema that captures the semantics of the field. Based on these learned candidate and field representations, each candidate is scored based on its similarity to its corresponding field embedding. And the model is trained as a binary classifier using cross-entropy loss, where the target labels are obtained by comparing the candidate to its ground truth. So our main hypothesis here is that form-like documents share a visual design language, hence we can effectively transfer knowledge across considerably different domains. Our proposal is a simple multi-domain transfer learning approach. Here we refer to the document type or language that we already have enough labeled examples for as source domain and the document type or language that we would like to generalize to but not have enough labeled examples as target domain. We hypothesize that the candidate encoder within the ML-based scorer can effectively learn to represent the domain agnostic spatial relationships between the candidate and its neighbor that are critical to understand in order to have a holistic understanding of form-like documents. A key observation we make is that the candidate encoder learns embeddings for the neighboring tokens and these word embeddings, while agnostic to the field, are likely to be, to be specific to the domain used for training. Therefore, at stage one, we combine the extraction candidates from both source and target domains and use a common vocabulary across bo bo both of these domains while training the Glean's ML-based score model. Significant performance benefit we observe over simple transfer le learning approaches, we believe stems from these two key decisions based on our domain specific observations. Field specific information continues to be encoded in the field embeddings within the, sim within the same latent space. At stage two, we simply fine tune both the candidate encodings and field embeddings on the target domain. Note that this framework can easily be extended to an arbitrary number of source and target domains. Our results shown here indicate that our proposed multi-domain transfer learning approach enables remarkable data efficient generalization, both from English invoices to considerably structurally different new document type paste stubs, and from English invoices to French invoices, consistently improving over both training from scratch and simple training transfer learning baselines up to 1000 labeled documents. All fields included in this analysis have above 80% candidate generation coverage and have at least 40 ground truth label in their corresponding test set. The value of our proposed approach is particularly impressive in the low data regimes. Specifically, we improve on the train from scratch baseline by up to 35 F1 points and on the simple transfer learning baseline by up to eight points for the 50 labeled document case while generalizing to a new document type Similarly, we improve on training from scratch baseline by up to 23 F1 points and on the simple transfer learning baseline by up to 7 F1 points for the 10 labeled document case while generalizing to a new language. We also would like to point out that source model training takes approximately 45 minutes, converging after 15 to 25 epochs, and fine tuning on the target domain approximately takes a couple minutes, converging after 1 to 2 epochs on a single GPU which is in contrast to the pre-training based approaches such as BERT grid model training that takes approximately 1,090 minutes converging after 20 epochs based on our own implementation. And our proposed multi-domain transfer learning approach is currently in production use. So here we argued that data efficiency will be immensely critical as the information extraction systems and production will increasingly need to perform well across more document types, more languages, and potentially on private customer data, ideally without sacrificing the generalization ability and the training and inference time of the parts of the extraction system that use machine learning. We hope that our preliminary results will help start the discussion on the importance of data efficiency while building the next generation information extraction systems tailored to form like documents for production use. We believe that the next big step will be to decrease the label document need from thousands to hundreds for each new M plus one document type or language we'd like to generalize to. Thanks for listening. I'll be graduating late 2022, and I'm broadly interested in representation learning and its application in healthcare, NLP, and building data-efficient ML methods that are robust to distribution grids.
thank you.